Hi, welcome to Love is Crafting. Love is Crafting. I'm Tila. And I'm Stanton. And if you're new to our channel, thanks for checking us out. And if you're returning, thanks for the support. What we do on this channel is we take you through crafting and DIY projects that are real, but not necessarily perfect because... Love, love isn't, isn't perfect. perfect. We have a goal to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of the year, but we need your help. Would you consider subscribing to our channel? We post new videos every Saturday. And in today's video, we will be installing track lighting. We were not happy with our current pendant lighting and thought that track lighting will be a nice upgrade. We will walk you through step-by-step step as we install this Lithonia track lighting kit. Now this isn't the hardest installation in the world, but we thought that we could bring you some tips and tricks that you can use with all of your other projects. You can show your support for the channel by liking, commenting, and subscribing. Love is crafting. Love is crafting. Before we start, we got to show you the current state of our pendant light. So because we are gluttons for punishment, we are going to go into this completely blind. So what do we do first? Unload everything out of the box. Structure man, on it. The good thing about this track lighting system is it came with a ton of extra hardware. That is really important for us because I have the tendency to drop screws. So it's good to not have to pick them up. Time to get rid of this basic light fixture. To do so, it is screwed to the ceiling with two screws that were just really easy to unscrew by hand. Before you start any of this project, you want to make sure that the power is off. We flipped the breaker and I used this voltmeter to make sure that all the power was completely removed from the system and there is no chance of me getting electrocuted. Next, we removed the bracket from the electrical box and to do this, we just had to remove two screws. If you're dealing with a stubborn screw that seems to be turning but doesn't seem to be coming out of whatever it's screwed into, a trick of the trade is to grab a pair of needle nose pliers so you can hang on to that screw. That way you can pull down on the screw while you're unscrewing it and that should release the screw out of whatever it's being screwed into. After fooling around with trying to get these screws out manually, we thought, why are we doing this manually? So we got the drill out. While removing the old fixture, we made sure to pay attention to how it was currently wired. We were really lucky because there, are, there was only one ground, one neutral, and one hot wire. So we just removed the wire nuts and that completed removing our old fixture. Since we removed the old fixtures bracket, we had to go ahead and use the new fixtures bracket. But to do this, we needed to separate the bracket from the actual cover. So here we go, removing the screws again. Now that the cover was off, it's time to install the bracket onto the electrical box. We just used the existing screws that were already up there to mount it on. But this time, we learned from our mistakes we started off with a screwdriver and went straight for the drill. The new fixtures wiring comes pre-stripped with the sheathing still on. You need to remove the excess sheathing before connecting it to the existing wire. Sometimes it is more beneficial to strip the wire further down than it comes pre-stripped in order to get a good connection. Once you connect it, you twist the wires together and then add a wire nut and make sure that it is tight. I personally pull on both the wires to make sure they are not easily removed. Then I tuck all the wires underneath the plate we just installed. Next, we loosen the screws on the bracket that are gonna keep the track in place so it's easy to slide in. There are two holes in the track where the screws that hold the track to the ceiling are supposed to go. While the track is on the ceiling, we mark those off with a pencil so we know where to put our anchors. 
Now that you have the ceiling marked where the anchor should go, it's a matter of drilling the hole and screwing in the anchor. Once the anchors are set, you reinstall the track. Use the screws that the track came with to screw inside the anchor. I recommend screwing in these screws with a screwdriver instead of a drill. That way it really bites into the anchor and you have a more secure connection. Now to attach the main power source, you push it into the track and twist until it clicks into place. Now we can add the cover that we removed from the bracket back onto the bracket. It came with two screws, just screw those screws into the cover and bracket. We install the light housing the same way we did the power source. What you do is you want to push it into the track and then turn until you hear the satisfying click. Once that's installed, only thing that's left to do is hit the light switch and enjoy the fruits of your labor. Or not. We changed the position of the light housing, made sure that it was correctly seated and tried one more time. Now that was a satisfying click. Here's the final shot of the lighting fixture. Projects like these are intimidating, but as you can see, they're easy when you decide to get your hands dirty. Thanks for watching, and remember, love is crafting.